Listen, I'm as alpha as it gets. I watch the Joe Rogan experience, I cook my steaks medium rare, and I make fun of people that cook their steaks well done. <laughs> Pathetic. And I haven't shed a tear since the Red Sox won the series in 2004 when they broke the curse, but there are two things that moisten my tear ducts every single time. That scene in Infinity War where Spider-Man disintegrates, absolutely heart-wrenching. And then, of course, watching backwoods hillbillies fall desperately in love with each other on TikTok. I mean, I mean come on, take a look. I could say you're beautiful <laughs> Cause when I look at you that's all I see And in the naked light I saw 10,000 people maybe more <laughs> We were just kids when we fell Oh come on dude, does every single TikTok have to have copyrighted music in it? I'm, so I'm sorry to have to do this to you but <clears throat> out of necessity Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not get copyright struck this time Try not to claim that, you robot dickheads! Anyways, as you can tell, this is heartwarming stuff. I <laughs> just... <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new democratic debate except instead of presidential candidates it's just Jake and Logan Paul kissing on stage for two hours. My name's Leon Lush, I'm happy to have you here today. Oh, Jake and Logan kissing? Leon, that's gross! Uh, yeah, it is, but it was a strategic nod to what's gonna come up later in the video. It's called foreshadowing, learn about it. So today we're gonna be talking about this incredible love story about these high school sweethearts um, that go by Mr. Outlaw and Mrs. Outlaw. Uh, respectively, and they've gone a little bit viral recently. Maybe you've seen them on Twitter or TikTok, but things have really taken a turn for the worse as they've gone viral, and they have just been relentlessly bullied over the past week or two, uh, and I'm here because I am about to put my foot down. And I know you're thinking, well, that's terrible. They seem like such a beautiful couple. Why would they get bullied? Well, it's the internet after all, and let's take a look at this TikTok, and then you'll be the judge. I don't know what you had in mind, but this got copyright struck three times. Let's go to war. Let's go to war! First impressions, endearing, cute, adorbs, <laughs> but the internet is piling on, right? Saying they look like cousins, that they're from the same family tree, joking all these jokes, and I'm not having it. And I don't usually like to get serious, but if you're participating in any of these jokes, well, <laughs> you about to meet Jesus. Fuck, I forgot to shave my shoulders. Damn it. Shut up, I'm self-conscious about it. But speaking of foreshadowing, do you like to save money while you shop online? Well, so do I, and thank Christ, Leon with a winter hat is back again to tell us all about Honey, today's video sponsor who can do just that. <laughs> Run it! Posting up in your PJs and doing some online shopping is easy. Just ask my wife, it's like her favorite pastime. But finding quality coupons to save some Skrilla online? Absolute hassle. That's why I made her install Honey, a free shopping tool that finds promo codes for you and applies them to your cart at checkout. It works in over 30,000 online stores like Nike's, Best Buy, Macy's, Domino's. The list goes on, but imagine you want to pick up a couple of Domino's pies for the get together. You go to check out and Honey's like, uh, hey, what's up? Found a little promo code for you. Just hit apply and you can keep a bunch of money. What's the catch? There isn't a catch! You just install Honey and save money, like I did on these PacSun threads I picked up. Threw a few items in my cart, went to check out, and Honey pops up with some coupons to try it. Oh wait, did I just save 26 bucks without doing a damn thing? That's a feelsgoodman.png. Honey has already helped its over 17 million users save over $2 billion, which is why it has an absurd amount of five-star ratings in the App Store. So big thanks to Honey for not only supporting YouTube creators, but for keeping everyone else's wallet thick by taking the guesswork out of saving money online. So head over to joinhoney.com slash Leon Lush. It's free, it installs in two clicks, and it's an absolute no-brainer. That's joinhoney.com slash Leon Lush. Link in the description. I appreciate you. So Mr. Outlaw, I swear I saw him in like a viral TikTok at some other time, right? But the reason I was made aware of this couple recently was last week I was on Twitter and one of their TikToks had gone viral on Twitter and it has five million on TikTok and it's them responding to some of the bullies calling them cousins and, and et cetera. All right, outlaws, listen up. What makes you all think we're related? No, no, stop this. Let me see this. Listen here, mother Oh. You've done pissed me the off, and I'm already in a bad goddamn mood today. Oh boy, this is getting well, serious. little advice to those that think we're cousins, no the f*** we're not. <laughs> I'm not related to her, I'm no kin to her, 
And if you keep the shit up, I'm calling the fucking CEO and every one of y'all's little sh- goddamn accounts are getting shut down. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> Just FYI, he's Cherokee. Stop. I'm not native. I'm Stop. sorry? At all. What was that? You all have a loud mouth. Well, secrets out. With us and watch what happens to your accounts. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> So I see this video and I think to myself, man, this is a pretty funny troll, right? Kudos to this couple. And then I dig in a little deeper and I start thinking to myself, is it a troll though? Or is he serious? And it's tough to tell and maybe that's part of the draw, but I'm here for it and stop bullying them. They're not of kin. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Do not make me put the tank top back on. It's not outlaws. Y'all are in-laws. Dog, that is not funny. Family or not, I personally don't want to keep it in the family, but if that's what makes someone happy, then let them be happy. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Sarcasm's off. I get the progressive mindset, the love is love, let people love who they want, but can we please at least draw the line in incest? I'm not suggesting that they are, like that's the joke, but in this comment, they're suggesting that even if they are, that's like, at least they're happy. Get the fuck. Anyways, I spent about 60 seconds browsing through her catalog to try and get a little bit of a backstory about Mrs. Outlaw. Um, she kind of started off modestly. She did a three part uh, TikTok rant about uh, being bullied in Christian school, and then she does this one, which I love. Hello, people of TikTok. I don't have much time here. I just got done watching my fiance's TikTok. Oh. The Outlaw. <sighs> I'm Mrs. Outlaw now. <laughs> so the intensity right off the bat is is palpable. Let's continue. TikTok, you take down another one of our videos. And my fiance is going to the news, what? and that's no promise. What? That's a threat and a promise in one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's no promise. It's a threat and a promise in one. <laughs> We're done. This is bullshit. You just have woken up a dragon and a demon. A dragon demon, maybe. TikTok, f*** up one more time. <laughs> I f***ing dare you. Uh, that TikTok needs its own streamy award. Unbelievable. But uh, after that, so she meets Mr. Outlaw. They do a bunch of these, like, duets that I showed you in the intro there, where it's like her and Mr. Outlaw just falling more deeply in love with each other through TikTok. Uh, and then apparently he moves from West Virginia up to Montana to be with her, and that's when you get this beautiful one. We were just kids when- Son of a, well, you, that's the one we saw in the intro. I'm not saying that again. So they've been together in the flesh for a couple weeks now, just posting bangers. And I'd like to get a little backstory on Mr. Outlaw, but apparently, apparently he went private and changed his handle from Mr. Outlaw 1999 to Firefighter 1999. And this, for me, this is a huge Bruh. moment. You can't claim to be an outlaw, but also be a pussy that privates his account when he catches a little heat when he goes viral. Love this. Oh, no, you didn't. Jab, jab. See, Mrs. Outlaw's not taking any shit, you know what I'm saying? She's going right after the bullies, or excuse me, the Belisles, but <laughs> looks like she tagged Kenny Regulerman in this one. I'm not sure why she would do that. Is that someone that was bullying her, maybe? Single mom to three wonderful boys, they are my life and my world. She's like shouting out family members as she's going viral. I see that, spreading the love, I like it. Let's see what Kenny Regulerman is all about. Can you figure out which three have PTSD and anxiety and which one suffers with bipolar and has horrible self-confidence? I mean, do you really want me to guess? That seems a little cruel and awkward, to be honest with you. I don't, I'm gonna, we gotta get off this page. Let's go back to Mrs. Outlaw. Keep the comments coming. I don't care. No, don't. I ain't a cousin like y'all are. She, excuse me. Okay, I am, you I am, I am, I am not. <laughs> I never accidentally slept with my cousin at a family reunion. That's insane. <laughs> okay, you delete that. You're being a bully. What are you talking about, bro? You guys need to stand firm. Throw on a cowboy hat, denim vest. Like, you got to get back to business, buddy, or it's only going to get worse. Like the old saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but, but words don't hurt don't, me. Don't, will never hurt me. See, you know what I'm saying? She gets it. They don't do reverse cowgirl because you don't turn your back on fans. 
<laughs> you guys don't realize that all of you as a collective can take a toll on their mental health. 2020 isn't about that. Please be better. I mean, that's kind of a real comment though, you know? It is interesting as I've gone through these videos, like the entire, everybody commenting is just like the whole making jokes about the incest thing, right? So I'm, I'm in a weird place because I can't tell if... What they're doing is uh, a shtick, right? It seems like they're playing it up. All right, TikTok, listen here. It's your boy Outlaw and Mrs. Outlaw. Well, this is the little cockers on this app. I want to say that me and hers related. Well, guess what? Hope you fucking happy, everybody in the Outlaw fam. Go fucking spam these people's pages on our comments, cause our accounts we're shutting them down due to these mother. Because we're not putting up with the bullshit. She's got a little one on the way, and I'm not dealing with it. Now, the bullshit ends. Bye. Have a wonderful life. You see, it's skits like that that seem like such intentional parody or, or satire or whatever with the hat and the glasses and the intentional draw of the cigarette at the beginning of the skit that it's it's hard for me to, to take it seriously. But Don't come cry to us when you can't take it no more. We put up with enough. I told you, things are going to change. Things ain't changed. Goodbye, TikTok. Goodbye Fuck permanently. Okay, I have a lot of questions. Uh, primarily, what do you mean when you say don't come crying to you when I can't take it anymore? Is that like when I can't take you shutting down your TikTok account? Don't come crying to you? If I can't take that, I won't come crying, I promise. Interesting, it's almost like the heat got a little too hot in the kitchen. But it's weird because like they were instigating the whole time. Like their whole thing was like making videos about like come at me bullies, right? Doing the... And of course, if you do that, the internet's just going to be more relentless in the jokes uh, they're making about you. So I don't know if that was just a, a lack of foresight on their part or if this is still part of like the shtick. So then I'm scrolling the replies on Twitter to their viral TikTok and Blake says they broke up last month because she was bullying people and now they are back together and have this war against bullying. I can't handle these people. I was the girl you love, but we broke up because I was bullying people. And I want to make the note that bullying uh, isn't a misspelling. That's actually what people do in Montana. Everybody has a bull, uh, and you can train it to just ram people that you disagree with. It's called bullying, and it's very dangerous. I don't know what to think. I'm I'm conflicted. <laughs> Mrs. Outlaw's pregnant. Mr. Outlaw has had it up to here. They're clearly not cousins. They're siblings. Lastly, if you participate in this charade, you better kiss your mother goodbye because... I'm an outlaw now, baby. Well, thanks for watching. I'd love it if you'd subscribe if you haven't already. Normally, I would leave you with some elaborate instructions on how you could uh, hip thrust the motherfucking like button, but I don't have time because it's getting late and I have to shave my shoulders. So I'll let you just follow some instructions from an old video. Really do appreciate you spending some time here with me tonight. Hope you have a great rest of the week. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. 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 Yeah.